Hi! Today's video is about a very cool plugin that you can use to mangle, change and destroy your sounds. You can create interesting glitch effects, do soundscapes and come up with new ideas for your music. This plugin is called Data Train and it's a Max for Life effect and instrument made by Dylan Baston. Max for Life is a platform that enables you to create your own plugins for Ableton. And the cool thing is that it's community based, so you can learn from others when you start out. A lot of producers and programmers make really nice plugins that you can buy or find for free. And today we will have a closer look at Data Train and all the possibilities with this plugin. Here you see Data Train, and with Data Train, you are able to mangle your samples so you can make really nice glitch sounds with it or ambient sounds. It's also a really cool tool for sound design. You see here the front side, which is the play side, and with the play side, you are able to use different kinds of effects and combine them together. I will drop a sample in Data Train so we are able to hear what all the effects are doing. Put it on. Over here is the start position, I can change that. Here I can change the size, make it either short or longer. Here's the pitch. The direction. I can fade the sound in. Here's the drive. There's also different filters in here, so I go for a low pass filter. You can hear that. It has also a Q factor. And here's the delay, so I put it on. I can shorten it, make it longer, and I can glide it. You see that every effect also has a modulator and with this modulation I can say how much percent I want to modulate this effect. And the modulation is happening in the data side. And actually in data, there's where all the magic is happening. So you see here all the effects, they are all in a line. So this is the position, the side, pitch. And here you can see all the blocks and I can move them all around. And over here on the right side, I can say what the value needs to be. So I can say, I want that the value is just random value, or I want to subtract the value, or I want to add the value. And over here, I can move the sliders around as well. So every time when I change something, something will also change in the modulation. Here on the right side, you see the history of data. So this is now in 32 rows, but I can say also, uh, I just want to have four rows, then it gets smaller and I also can loop it. So you can make a looper out of it and I can change the direction of the loop. And now I will modulate data train. So I modulate here the start position. So it goes back and forward. And I can see this also here in the positions. I can change it also to different ones. This is random. So I just can listen how it sounds and if I like it. But I actually really like this one. To really make movement in the sound. I modulate the pitch now. I can use also different scales. I use an octave. And here I can change the direction and I modulate this as well. So you get really cool sounds with this. I will fade it a tiny bit in. Tiny bit of drive. Maybe a little bit of filtering. But this I really like, it's really nice. I think just 10% filtering, it's really nice. And I can open it a tiny bit more up. And uh, here is my delay. That's modulate of delay. Now I would like to use Data Train on my drum. So I have here a drum track. It sounds like this. To hear still the original drums, I put this on zero. And I have it also on fully red. So, so here we go. And then I start mangling. Let's sing it. 
I will sync this too. Then I go into data. I can make a shorter loop. I go to eight. And sync it. This is actually cool. So now I can start modulating my starting point. Also up here. And here I go into the delay section. This is really nice. So you can really change everything. This is also really nice. I have here a melody sound and a piano sound and both of them I want to send into my return track and there's data train. So data train is now here also on record. As soon as the sound comes in here, it will be looped in the buffer. Here I have my melody. It starts already working. This is really nice. And here I have a piano sound, and I will send a piano sound also in here. So you've got really nice sounds now. Can do a little bit less. So that's very interesting sounds, I find. Really beautiful. So let's put more reverb in here. Some delay. And then let's listen to the drums. You can already hear how creative you can be with this plugin and I think it's such a fun way of making music. I love to hear what you think about it and let me know if you have any other Max for Life instruments I should check out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you next time.